Hi, my name is Kika Osunde. Some of you might know me as Kika Good Hair. I am about to show you some of my epic moments in Ghana. Stay tuned. My first ever time going to Ghana was like in 2010. So I actually went to Ghana before I went to Nigeria. I went to Nigeria in 2014. Um, I have so much love for Ghana because my high school, everyone's literally Ghanaian. And I was the only Nigerian. Well, not the only, I can count the amount of Nigerians on one hand. But yeah, everyone was like Ghanaian, speaking tree, you know, the slang and everything like that. So I have like a personal connection to Ghana, as one would say. One of my closest friends, she's actually Ghanaian, so she just kind of like dragged me back with her. Christmas period, I tend to go. I've been to Ghana probably about 10 times. Went to Botanical Gardens and I felt like I was on Rodeo Drive with those tall palm trees, man. That, that was an amazing experience. I loved every bit of it. So we're all gonna perform a song together. We're gonna perform a gospel song. I, I like to give back whenever I go. Um, I like to play hard and give hard as well. So these kids, they're like my children because I saw a lot of them when they were like babies and now they're like they've grown to like toddlers, teenagers, so it's nice to see that. So I try and go like every year, give them a little something, sing with them and stuff. There are loads of places to visit in Accra, like loads. Like I said, I've mentioned earlier, ever since I've been going since 2010, the country has developed so much, there's like so much to do. It's so well developed, like dramatically. There's so many different, you know, outdoor areas, outdoor places you can go to, restaurants, you know, you can take a little trip on the boat to wherever, a nice resort. Like, trust me, every single time I go, it's completely different, different experience for me. I go to Ghana to turn up, I won't lie to you. Um, they do have a lot of more stuff to offer, but I mean, I don't go there for that. I go there to have fun, meet up with my friends, turn up. So I stayed at Quale's and I also stayed at number one, but my personal preference would be Quale's just because it's more, it's more sophisticated in terms of decor. It's more laid back. Number one, I literally feel like I'm in Vegas. You know, it's like a party hotel, you know, where boy meets girl, you know, more of like a younger crowd. But at Quale's, it was just different. You know, the customer service is on another level. You know, that's where I met Derek. The day I arrived, like Derek was assigned to us as our butler. And from the moment I met him, we just got on like a house on fire. Like he would bring me water so I can take my medication every single morning. And if he saw that I was like hungover, he would leave me like a hot drink, a, a, a hot drink that he would actually create himself, you know, like literally forced me to drink it. You know, he helped me iron my clothes. He was like, honestly, like a godsend, like, he was actually like a godsend, like he's the best guy ever. And um, we actually still keep in contact every single day. He sends me all his achievements. He's like, I'm doing this for you, mum. I had the best experience at the Pilates studio. I don't work out, guys. I literally don't work out. I'm like the most lazy person you'll ever know. But I had such a good time. She literally stretched me in every angle and I felt so good. Definitely hit up the Pilates studio. It's such an amazing experience. I went there with Lily and I don't regret it. And I definitely, definitely will be doing about two sessions a week when I go back. Other places that I went to, which I completely and absolutely loved, was Rose Garden. That's really cute. It's very like girly. They have amazing cocktails and they have great size meals, platters for you and your friends to share. Guys, I'm so lucky. So Priscilla got me my favorite cupcakes and donuts from Cupcake Boutique. Thank you, Priscilla. <laughs> Sandbox is also a nice outdoory, um, it's got like a beach vibe. You might feel like you're in Mykonos. It's kind of strange. It's like when I was there and I was like snapping it, people were asking me, oh, where are you? I'm like, I'm still in Accra. You know, cause you have the beach, then you have like the water feature 
and it's just a really nice vibe and um, me and my girls, we really enjoyed it. Sunkoto, Kozo, Excel, Sandbox. There's still restaurants at the end of the day with a curated experience. Cheers for eye contact. Cheers. Cheers to life and Cheers. long life yeah. and health and wealth. Yep. Amen. Oh, so, final thoughts, guys. I'd say go to Ghana with an open mind and also go with the right people. Your crowd will definitely determine the vibe that you have. I'm a vibe. I am the vibe. If vibe was a person, it's me. I've literally shared everything with you. I don't know what more you want from me. It's time for you to experience it yourself. So go, go and experience Ghana and let me know what you think. But make sure you use the hashtag Kika Put Me On and the Kika Effect. If not, this will be the last time I share anything with you. And that's some period B.